Hey, it's Clay at ClayTrader.com. This will be the weekly review of the Power Profit Scan newsletter, which is a portion of the service here that I offer. And before I go any further, a couple of quick disclosures. First off, I am not trying to portray or come across like every single alert that I send out is a massive money-making success. That's just not how the market works, and that's just not realistic. Losses happen, but that illustrates perfectly why risk management, risk control, risk analysis is very, very important because despite what others may try to pro proclaim, losses are part of the game. So you wanna make sure that you have those under control and analyze in the proper way because on the flip side of the coin, winners also happen. So when winning trades do come along, you wanna make sure your account is in the best possible spot to allow those winners to just keep the overall account in an uptrend. The second thing as a kind of quick little disclaimer, we're gonna be going and looking, like I said, at the weekly newsletter, and we're gonna be going back and looking at the week of April 22nd. Clay, why are you going so far back? That, that's a totally fair question. First off, it's simply giving the chart plenty of time to play out, so now we know what actually happened. Second, just the matter of being fair. Uh, this is a, a paid for subscription, so the last thing I would want is for somebody to pay for something, and then all of a sudden they see it out there for free. Those people would probably feel pretty ripped off, and I, I wouldn't blame them for that. So with that being said, let's look at the first uh, the first uh, setup. Okay, I lied. We're gonna look at uh, the, the CD rates, and I like to do this uh, from your feedback. It sounds like you guys enjoy this. Helps to do a good job of keep a, a reference point. But CDs are just certificates of deposit and bank rate. Pretty much searches the entire market and puts them together in terms of what they can find as the best ones. So right here, 2.85% for two years. Right here, look at that. Okay, well, not not as not as high, but only one year. So only one year, 2.8%. I'll say that again. One year, 2.8%. So just keep those numbers in mind. Now, a couple of quick questions I always get. Clay, what prices do you cover? I cover all prices. I don't really care about the price. I care about the probabilities that it's gonna be a winning trade. So prices fall very, very low down the priority list. So I will cover penny stocks up to stocks over $100. In fact, for those of you that have watched these segments in the past, you've seen some videos where I'm talking about a penny stock, then the next stock is something over you know, $100. So price, very, very irrelevant to me. What's most relevant is I want probabilities that I think are in you know our favor. Now the first one here is indeed a penny stock. In fact, it's down below a penny per share. And it was uh, a volume alert here, meaning, hey, look at all this volume, hmm, let's see if anything comes from it. So just one of those where volume exploded and then the price really didn't do too much, but volume well above average. So there is what the chart looked like, and I should note also that these were sent out over the weekend. That way you have plenty of time to think and just, uh, you know, uh, analyze it, whereas you know some of these services, I know you, you get like a text alert, and then all of a sudden you're supposed to make a decision within like five minutes as you run to the bathroom at work or whatever. None of that. You have plenty of time to make the decision. So there's what the chart looked like over the weekend, and you can see after that, just nothing happened. So this is what I would consider a no play, meaning yeah, there is big volume, yeah, it was worth at least keeping an eye on, but then you can see there is just. No, there's no follow through that wasn't in the leading indicator of anything. So it is what it is. And that's some of the alerts that are made. There just isn't any, there, it, I call them no plays, meaning there's no play to be made. There's no trade to be made. It just, nothing really pans out. And it's pretty much as simple as that. So yeah, it made sense to keep an eye on it. But like I said, nothing ever came from it. Next one we're looking at is what I threw into what I called the bounce cat, uh, bounce cat, Bounce category and just call it, you know, is some sort of bounce coming? So you can see right here, it was near the tread line, got the hammer. So I was wondering, you know, could it at least maybe get up there and revisit the top of that red, red line? If not, you know, even break higher. But even a bounce up to that tread line, from a percentage standpoint, that would still be pretty decent. So let's see how this one played out. So there's what it looked like going into the weekend. So let's see how this one played out. Went sideways for a little bit, but you can see never violated the tread line, gave people plenty of opportunity to, to pick up some shares at a great risk risk reward location. And then you can see here, things started to wake back up. And then really woke up right there, finally got up to that tread line, actually broke through it, and then did pull back. So that was a 15.3% move within you know a couple of weeks. So let's just say uh, you, you messed up a lot of the trade and got 10% out of it. Okay, well, 10% for a couple of weeks or 2.8% for one year. Again, is 15.3% like a massive, massive percentage? Actually, yeah, it is. When you consider that even if you screwed up some of the trade and got 10%, 
in two weeks compared to 2.8% for one year, that's actually super, super good. So remember, let's keep things in perspective. Don't let the greed voices ruin your perspective on things because like I said, what's the ulterior? Well, 2.8% for one year. So definitely a nice bounce off the tread line. And uh, yeah, it did get a, a breakout there, but rolled back over. Overall though, a good solid trade. Next alert was put into a panic pullback play, MBIO, and you know, there's a big old move here. And as I say, you know, the panic started on it. So let's see if more, uh, you know, if, if the price can pull back to this area right around the, the moving average. So this general vicinity down here. So let's see if there was indeed a pullback or not. So we'll see what happens with it, you know, that next day. You can see that it made a little false move up right there and then did start to pull back and got right there, right around that location that I had mapped out. So hanging right around that area. And then made the move right there, which doesn't look like a lot, but you gotta remember that just because of the crazy move, the proportions kind of get thrown off. But that was good for a 16.9% move. Again, am I saying anybody played it perfectly? Now let's say you screwed up half the trade. So let's say you got, you know, eight and a half percent out of it. Eight and a half percent for a couple of weeks or 2.9% or 2.8% for one year. Like I said, is this a massive, massive percentage like I've like we've had in the past? No, it's not massive, but keeping things, you know, in a reference point of, you know, you can't walk into your local bank and say, excuse me, sir, excuse me, ma'am. I would like eight and a half percent on my money in the next two weeks. They will look at you like a crazy person. They'll say, well, sir, we have this CD. It's the best in the entire country. We'll give you 2.8% for one year, but eight and a half percent for two weeks. Uh, yeah, I don't know what you're talking about. But here, yeah, good solid trade. Took a little bit of time, but I think the thing I'm most proud of uh, for this alert was there was none of this, hey, get in, get in, get in. It was, hey, let's let the price come to us because can you imagine how people that bought there or bought there are feeling or bought right there? No. So for me, very proud that it was not a matter of getting, getting, get in, hurry, hurry, hurry. No, but hey, everybody calm down. Let's let the price come to us. It came to us and then presented a very good risk versus reward opportunity. And then the final couple alerts come from a specific area within the newsletter. And these are for students. Uh, and I bring that up because when you're a student and you go through this class, then all you need is the ticker symbol because you know full well how to execute the strategy, what to look for, how to, how to approach everything. So for this area of the, of uh, you know the, the newsletter, I just give out the ticker symbol because like I said, there's knowledge and power, uh, or excuse me, there's power and knowledge, um, and when you have that knowledge, you can just look at the ticker symbol and know exactly what to look for. So the first one we're gonna look at here is RAD. So there was a setup going into the weekend, and then Monday you can see right there, boom, just like that. And I know it doesn't look like much, but believe it or not, that was an 18.4% move before it rolled back over. But here's a tricky thing, and I will count this as a winner, but this was probably a small, small winner. I, I realize it made that move. However, there, was, there just wasn't any follow through. So there was money to be made. There was an opportunity at locking in some gains. But as far as, you know, did anybody actually get 18.4? They better not have, because if people would have just sold, uh, that would, that's not, you know, the, the strategy there. You wanna, because if this thing would have gone up 38.4%, you better capture some of that move too. So certainly nobody made 18.4%. But like I said, I, would, I definitely wouldn't consider this a losing trade either. Just kind of a disappointing one. It started off with so much promise looking like that and then kind of just petered out. So that was probably, like I said, a small winning trade. Uh, but I wanted to show this because I think it's a good example of sometimes things start off really, really well and then they just fizzle out. And that's just how the market goes. That's how sometimes trades play out. Uh, I mean, they start off so, so great like this one. I mean, literally an 18.4% move in one day and then just nothing. So yeah, a, a winning trade, but a very modest, small winning trade at that. The next one to look at, we're gonna take a look at TDOC. And if you're wondering, CLVS, well, that was just a no play. There, there was nothing that ever would have happened um, that would warrant you know, hopping in. So that one was just there, nothing that came from it, but let's take a look at TDOC. So there's the alert going into the weekend, and let's see how this one played out. Unlike some of the other ones, this one really didn't mess around very much at all. Took a little bit of a break right there, and then just kept on chugging upwards, and right there was the, the big movement where it did, did finally kind of peak out. It did return back upwards. So, you know, even if you would have missed that move, you had, you know, follow through opportunity right there. But that was a profit potential window of 23.7%. Again, let's just say you screwed up half the trade. 
All right, well, you made 12% on it. 12% in you know, a couple of weeks, your, your local bank is not gonna give you that. Your local bank will, will give you right around 2.8% for an entire year. So I, I'm gonna go with the 12% and that assume, I mean, imagine if you actually played it pretty well. I mean, that's the, you're looking at a realistic 20% gain right there. 20% gain in just a couple of weeks, that's a whole lot better than 2.8% for one year. If you are interested in uh, being part of the community and joining the subscription service, then you can just go here to claytrader.com slash team. Uh, super, super fair on the amounts uh, required to join. Uh, and then these are the other things that you get. Uh, there's just besides the newsletter, there's also the live trading chat room uh, where I am very active. So you, there, there's that component too. And you get all these other things. Mobile app, which is very handy. So it's not like you need to stay chained to your computer or anything like that. You can stay in touch uh, you know, at, at all times. So that makes things very, very nice. And then there's no drama or anything like that. No pumpers, no bashers. There is a set of rules that uh, keeps the clutter to a very, very small amount. And that way we can focus on efficiency and just locating those profitable trade alerts out there. So give it a try, uh, sign up. And like I said, um, I'm, I'm very confident that you're gonna find value in it. The math breaks down to, you know, if you go with the three or the 99, that means the question you need to ask yourself is, okay, if I invest $99, can I make $8.25 per week? Not per day, just per week. That's the question. If you think you can make more than $8.25 per week, then there you go. Go with the $99. Now, the, those numbers are even lower if you do that because you get three months free. But regardless, that's the question you need to ask yourself is, do I think investing into the community can make me more than $8.25 per week? It can. It can, and yeah, you can totally accuse me of not setting the bar very high, but that's how it all works out. So that is how it works, and I will see you back next week. I hope to see you on the inside.